so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Welcome to an example of determining the monthly loan payment for a mortgage. The price of a home is $155,000, the required down payment is 10%, and you qualify for a 30-year fixed mortgage at 5.5%. Number one, we want to determine the down payment and the loan amount. Number two, we want to find the monthly mortgage payment. And number three, determine how much interest is paid over the life of the loan. So for number one, since the down payment requirement is 10%, we want to find 10% of 155,000. So that would be 155,000 times 10% expresses a decimal, which would be 0 0.10, or if we want, just 0 0.1. This would be $15,500. Of course, if we want to check this, we can use a calculator. 155,000 times 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 is $15,500. So if this is the down payment, then the loan amount is equal to the price of the home, 155,000 minus the down payment. So this would give us $139,500. This would be the loan amount. And now for number two, we want to find the monthly mortgage payment. To do this by hand, we'll be using this formula here. I'll also show how to use the T84 graphing calculator to determine the monthly payment. So first, using our formula, the monthly payment is going to be equal to this quotient here, where P is the loan amount of 139500 times R divided by N, where R is the annual interest rate and N is the number of payments per year. So R is 5.5% expressed as a decimal, that would be 0 0.055. We're making monthly payments since there's 12 months in the year, N is 12, divided by 1 minus the quantity 1 plus R divided by N, which again is 0 0.055 divided by 12. Raise the power of negative N times T, which is negative 12 times T, which is time in years. This is a 30-year fixed mortgage, so T is 30. And now we'll go to the calculator. Let's evaluate the numerator and denominator separately first. So for the numerator, we'll have 139,500 times 0 0.055 divided by 12. So the numerator is 639.375. And now for the denominator, we'll have 1 minus the quantity 1 plus 0 0.055 divided by 12. Raise the power of, this would be negative 360. And enter. So we have approximately 0 0.80722. And now we'll go ahead and find this quotient. So the monthly payment is going to be approximately $792.07. Keep in mind this does not include taxes and insurance. Let's also verify this using the finance menu of the graphing calculator. So we're going to press apps, 
enter for finance, and then enter for TMV solver. N is the number of payments in the loan, that would be 30 times 12 or 360. The interest rate is 5.5 percent. EV is the present value of the loan, which is the loan amount of 139,500. We'll come back to the payment. The future value would be zero after the loan is paid. Payments per year is 12. Number of compounds per year is also a 12. The payments are made at the end of the month. So now we'll go back up to PMT for payment. We're going to clear this and now we're going to press alpha enter for solve. So alpha enter verifies that our monthly payment would be $792.07 run into the nearest cent. Remember, remember we also rounded our denominator here. And now for the last question, we're going to determine how much interest is paid over the life of the loan. Let's first determine the amount paid over the life of the loan. That would be the monthly payment, which is $792.07 times the number of months over 30 years. So this would be times 30 times 12. So we have 792.07 times 360, or if we want 30 times 12. So over 30 years, a total of $285,145.20 would be paid. Well, remember the loan amount, or the amount borrowed, was 139000 five hundred dollars. So the difference of these two amounts would be the amount of interest paid. So we'll go ahead and take this amount here and subtract the loan amount, one hundred thirty nine thousand five hundred dollars. So one hundred forty five thousand six hundred forty five dollars and twenty cents is the amount of interest paid over the thirty years. Notice the amount of interest paid is actually more than the original loan amount. I hope you found this example helpful. In the next example, we'll take a look at a loan that also has points.